Hello again, everybody, and welcome back to Fujit's Blitz with me, Fujit. Hello. So, if you're anything like me, then certain tanks take all of your concentration to play effectively. And for me, one of those tanks is the Object 140. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's not a bad tank. Far, far from it. But it's no T-62A. And whilst the differences between the two are small, in real terms, those differences have a massive impact on how the tank actually plays. So, what exactly are those differences? I mean, they look exactly the same tank-wise. Well, for starters, the armor profile, especially on the turret, is completely different. Here, we can see that both tanks side by side in armor inspector, and the differences are clear. The turret of the Object 140 is pretty thin compared to that of the T-62A. In the T-62A, you can almost be safely reassured that once you're hauled down, you will bounce almost most things coming your way. Not quite the same in the Object 140. That in itself requires you to play the tank differently, because there's no safety blanket as such. Not that you'd want to go down in this tank too often, not with its mere 6 degrees of gun depression. Okay, the T-62A only has 7 degrees, a trifle in one more degree than the Object 140. But believe me, that one degree makes a huge difference, and it allows you to get into positions that utilises your turret armour whilst at least allowing you to shoot. Not quite the same thing with the Object 140. Admittedly, the Object 140 has more HP. <laughs> 61 more, to be exact. <laughs> but both have the same stats on the gun handling, although, well, almost. Although the T62A does have better penetration on its standard and premium ammunition. The Object 140 does have 5 kilometers more top speed. Yee but the average speed is the same. And with the increased weight of the T-62A, the Object 140 is, in fairness, slightly quicker out of the blocks. The T-62A does have better turret and haul turn rate, allowing for better targeting. And although these differences are very small, believe me, they translate into huge differences when you're playing. You will also discover that the T-62A has better terrain crossing than the Object 140. Again, small, but very noticeable. So with that in mind, why on earth would you take an Object 140 instead of a T-62A? Hmm. Well, for one, if you can play the 140 well, then you will have no difficulties in the T-62A. None at all. Because if you're used to a tank with limited gun depression, or turret armor, then you, and, and you know not as good penetration. Then jumping into the T62A will feel like you've gone from I don't know a Toyota Yaris into a Rolls Royce. Secondly, tanks like the Object 140 actually require skill. They are what I call finesse tanks, and as such. Playing the Object 140 will certainly increase your overall skill level, but before it does, it will test you to your limit. It does require you to concentrate and throw everything you've got into playing this tank well. This is not a tank for new players, certainly not, because it's not noob friendly. It requires you to use your knowledge of the maps and the terrain to find the spots that you really can make a difference. It requires that you're able to aim at the proper weak spots and it will certainly try your patience to the limit. I personally like the Object 140, but it's a tank that sits in the realms of those who actually have the skill to play it. And I would advise any new or lower win rate player not to jump into this tank straight away but get to grips with the T-62A. In fact, I would tell you to roll out on the T-62A a lot and really get to grips with it before you even think about rolling out on the Object 140. And even then, the transition from 
the T60 to 20 to the Object 140 isn't as straightforward as it seems, and it will take some time to get used to it, especially for us average normal players. The Object 140 is also a situational tank, and it needs to be second lined in most cases, unless you have support, because it is a very vulnerable tank. You can frontline it, of course you can, you can frontline almost any tank, but you need the support from the bigger tanks. That is critical. The best way to play the Object 140 is like you would say an FV4202 or a Leo 1. You need to use its mobility to relocate and use the gun to farm from place of safety or at a push distance. Distance, however, isn't always going to be your friend in an Object 140 because the, the gun dispersion is greater than that of the T62A. So sitting behind your heavies and using them as meat shields, poking and shooting is a much better option. Now, the super duper Unicums and the pros will make driving the Object 140 look easy as pie, something it really isn't. You need to resist the temptation to rush in this thing or rush into this thing because you will find yourself back in the garage before you can say a Russian bias. Don't be in a rush to get into this tank, guys. If you're a new player, jump into a T62A first, a much more friendlier tank. And once you're used to the T62A's playstyle, then by all means, jump into the Object 140, because it's a beautiful tank. It's just not the easiest to play. And that alone will frustrate you if you're not accustomed to it. And eventually you will get so frustrated, you will end up hating the damn thing. So do yourself and the Object 140 a favor. Become competent in the T62 a first, and then the Object 140 will feel less intimidating and less frustrating. Anyway, I've been Fujit. That's just been a quick video on the Object 140. By all means, comment and everything below. And remember guys, until the next time, stay safe out there, have fun on the battlefield, and happy tanking, because that is what it's all about, having fun and being happy.